It's extremely exciting for a variety of different reasons. I think we found a solution for how to solve this major issue after spinal cord injury, which is this unstable blood pressure. So it's important because in people with spinal cord injury, we often end up prescribing medications or stockings to try to raise their blood pressure. And with the, the implant of this device, we can get rid of those things. With my blood pressure being more stable, it allows me to have the endurance to work through a whole day, still have energy in the evening to spend time with the kids, uh, or, and hopefully one day start watching them play sports and stuff again. First, it's important to note that neurons in the central nervous system communicates with electricity. That's its currency. That's how it sends signals around. After a spinal cord injury, the signals are not getting past that injury site. So you have all these great signals and great commands that your brain is trying to create, but they're not able to get out into the nervous system to actually cause functional changes. So this device has a few different applications, but one of which is to provide electrical current below the level of the injury. And this allows for those circuits that were previously disconnected to the brain to become functional again. I'm hopeful that this, uh, that this research that they've done will help make epidural stimulation more available in the future for other people as well. And I know there's a lot of work to be done, but this is a really important big step forward. And there's efforts at play to try to make that happen in Calgary, because we have a number of individuals out there in the community who would like to see this, who would like to be part of uh, something like Dr. Gill's been part of. I think the only way you move science forward is through research.